Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to have a look at how to remove or reinstall a PCI Express graphics card. Okay, the tools we're going to need for this job are a magnetic crosshead screwdriver, preferably magnetic, but it doesn't have to be. It will help you in the long run, trust me. We may or may not need to use some side cutters for cable ties a 8-pin PCI Express power adapter and a 6-pin PCI Express power adapter. Now, if you've done your homework and you've bought the right power supply already, these two probably won't be needed. But just in case your power supply is slightly older and doesn't have the required connectors, another thing you may need is cable ties. Now, they're not necessarily needed, but if you have got them, you can tidy up your wiring after you've done your job so it all looks nice and clean and tidy inside your PC. So first of all, let's take our cross-headed screwdriver and remove the two case side panel screws and have a look inside. Magnetic tip screwdriver, you won't lose your screws. Put them somewhere safe for when we need to put them back in. Nearly lost it, magnetic tip, save the day. Again, put this one somewhere safe. So now you can remove your case's side panel. You may need to check your owner's manual to find out how to do this. This one's pretty simple, just pull towards you. Put the case side panel somewhere safe, especially if you've got a side glass or perspex panel, just in case you damage it or scratch it. So now we've got our side panel off, we can remove our graphics card. Now the graphics card is this bit here, and it's normally connected with a couple of cross-headed screws and possibly some power connectors. So first things first, make sure your PC is not connected to your wall socket. This one is not connected to anything, so we don't have to worry about that. But if it's plugged in, please remove your power socket first before you change or move any wires inside your PC. Now most graphics card power supply connectors have got a uh, push tab or a clip you can just push to remove. So push the tab in and give the connector a little wiggle to remove it. Sometimes you might be a little bit stiff, so just persevere and keep wiggling. And there we go. There's the power connectors disconnected. Next thing we're gonna do is use our magnetic screwdriver again, and we're gonna move the two screws from inside the PC case. So that's our two screws removed, now we can remove the graphics card. There's normally a retaining tag which we need to either lift up or depress to remove the card and gently wiggle the card until it releases. Carefully orientate the card so it comes out of the chassis. And uh, there we go, that's our graphics card removed. Now obviously the installation is the reverse of this process, but I'm gonna quickly go through and show you that process. PCI Express port and line up the PCI Express uh, connector to the port. Also at the same time lining up the lugs on the graphics card back plate to the retaining back wall. Orientate the graphics card in through the wiring and line up against the back wall and the PCI Express port slot. Wiggle the card into place until you hear a click or until it's engaged to the clip. If need be, apply a light pressure to the back of the case to stop it falling over if you're doing this upright. If you're doing it face down, obviously that's not gonna be a problem. Give the card a little wiggle, and make sure it's in firmly. Now take your two cross-headed screws and your screwdriver and secure the graphics card. If you've got two screws, it's worth doing the first one uh, not quite all the way tight, just to make sure you can give it a little bit of wiggle should the second one be a struggle to get in. Adjust the card from the rear should there be any need to, so you can get access to your HDMI, DVI or display ports. When you're happy the graphics card is in the correct position, fully tighten the screws. Normally an extra half a turn should be sufficient. Never over tighten these screws. It is only thin metal and you will strip the threads on them quite easily. Next, we can reconnect our PCI Express power connections. 
This card has two connections, a 6-pin power and an 8-pin power. The 6-pin power is the left and the 8-pin is on the right. As you can see, there's a retaining clasp, so you depress the clasp and gently insert. Give it a little wiggle until it clicks into place. And repeat the process with your 8-pin connector. Give the cables a little pull just to make sure they're firmly attached. And that's our graphics card fully installed. All we need to do now is replace the side panel, connect up the PC to the mains and the video output, turn the machine on and then see if Windows will automatically install the drivers or certainly you can go to the manufacturer's website, uh, nvidia.com or amd.com and you can download the latest drivers suitable for your graphics card. So that's been how to remove and reinstall a graphics card. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How-Tos and we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.